do 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 Taylor Watch. Welcome back to another episode of Taylor Watch. Happy Tuesday. Woo! It's Tuesday for us too. This is coming to you a little later than usual because the Met Gala was last yes. night. And what a night it was. Fashion's biggest night. It was a little underwhelming. It was a little underwhelming. It was underwhelming at times and overwhelming at yes, times. Yes, yes. Either people w- were slaying the house boots down or yes. they were giving nothing. Or they were giving nothing. Yeah. And uh, and by giving nothing, I mean all the men. So we'll get into yeah. that shortly. Yes. But uh, before that, I don't know if you guys can tell if you're watching us on, on YouTube or Rumble that we are wearing some beautiful pajamas and yes. some beautiful little sleep masks given yes. to us courtesy of our besties over at Bowen Branch. Yes. We love to death. And they gave us these outfits so we could watch the Met Gala in them. They, and I rolled out of bed and I came here. Here. I mean, they're the most. <laughs> they're so soft. Soft pajamas feels, I've ever put on my body. It feels like I'm wearing my bed. And Not even kidding. Yeah, like, it's just a really, a really cozy, uh, cozy situation. Shout out to Bowling Branch. Always, they are our total besties. We've been going on about them for a few weeks now. Mm. Um, all of their their linens are to die for. Yeah, and uh, we just can't get enough. The whole office is a buzz about them. We talked about it a couple weeks ago when I was. Um, Hunting with Sydney Wells, and I brought it up. She lost her mind. Everybody's losing their mind over Bowling Everyone's Branch. losing their mind. And mm-hmm. I mean, I was losing my mind when I saw Bowling Branch on the Met Gala steps. No, it's insane. But it's we'll, insane. We'll, we won't we'll, tell you who yet. Yeah. We won't tell you who yet. But Bowling Branch was, in fact, on the Met Gala carpet last yeah. night, which is just a crazy thing. So like, crazy. Fresh out the gate, too, Bowling Branch. First Miss Peaches, now the Met Gala. They're like, slaying. it's just, it's crazy. They're, they're, yeah. Really crushing it right now. So they are uh, sponsoring this episode with us today. Yes. And we love them for Shout that. out so to Bowl and Branch. They have the highest quality sheets that I have ever used. Um, mm-hmm. They're buttery soft. They're breathable. They're perfect for the summertime because, you know, they don't, like, trap the heat in that gross way. They're just so soft. They make you feel clean. They make your mm-hmm. skin feel good. Yeah, um, the skin. Yeah. I, look at my look at my skin. Your skin I, looks amazing. How, how many times a day do I complain about my skin and I'm like, oh, whatever, blah, blah, it's all bullshit. Yeah. Since I'm not kidding, this is a dead serious thing, and I've said this before, not even like in the middle of an ad. Since I put the Bowen Brand sheets on my bed, my skin has improved. My skin has gotten better. I know yeah. that's not like a, supposed to be a selling point. It's just the fact that it like doesn't hold all of this dirt inside yeah. it, and my skin looks amazing. Like, yeah. It hasn't looked this good in a long time, and so shout out. Shout out. Big shouts. You're looking amazing. Thank you. Um... They're just extremely luxurious, especially compared to like my old sheets. My old sheets were a piece of garbage. Mm -hmm. So it just, it really has upgraded my sleep like tenfold. I feel like I wake up more refreshed. I'm going to sleep quicker. Um, So shout out to Bull and Branch and reawaken in the epitome of comfort and luxury with sheets from Bull and Branch. Get 20% off your first set of sheets plus free shipping at bullandbranch.com with promo code KEEGS. That's Bull and Branch, B-O-L-L-A-N-D, branch.com, promo code KEEGS. Exclusions apply. See site for details. I love how they slipped in there, that reawaken. Yes, I like that too. That was, in fact, uh, a part of the theme for the Met Gala this year. So. Many people were confused about the theme this year. There is, I think that like, I don't know if people are unfamiliar with the Met Gala or they don't do, they, they don't know like what it is. Mm. What it is, is a big party to celebrate the opening of a fashion exhibit that comes every year. A different exhibit comes every year. This year, the exhibit is called uh, Sleeping Beauties Reawakening Fashion. And the idea behind it is to highlight all old works old fashions and kind of bring them back into the light right. Re, you know reawaken sleeping beauties right. like that kind of thing it's like really fragile pieces right fragile yeah. pieces or just like um in, in a style that we haven't seen in a long time so we saw a lot of like 60s 50s mm-hmm. like even uh, i'll go all the way back to like the 1800s like yeah, that yeah. kind of vibe like regal royal stuff that you wouldn't necessarily wear present day so that is what the um exhibit is at the met and you can go see that exhibit now after i think i I think it's closed for a couple of days after the actual party to like clean up, but then it'll be open, I think, until the fall. So you can still go see that exhibit. But the theme for the red carpet for this party is uh, the Garden of Time, mm. which does kind of tie in with Sleeping Beauty's reawakening fashion because it wanted, I, I think the idea really was to have people go through the archives of all of these different designers over time mm-hmm. and pull out uh, pieces, either exact pieces or be inspired by pieces from the past uh, in a way that's whimsical, mm-hmm. garden, or even just to show like the passing of time. So we yeah. saw a lot of really creative um, outfits come out, I would say, like a handful. Yeah. Not as many as I would have liked, Not as to, many, be, yeah. to be honest. Yeah. 
But we saw a handful of creative outfits. We saw a lot of florals. Florals for spring, groundbreaking. I you know? was actually kind of disappointed with how the lack of florals there, there, I felt it like. was a there was a lack of floral and here's the thing is I don't know because if there was I a lack like... of floral there were florals everywhere they were just boring florals yeah like, I saw every five minutes I saw some kind of floral dress but I was like that's the that's the D version of a floral dress I would have liked to have seen mm. so it's just yeah. kind of a bummer. maybe Miranda Priestly struck fear into the hearts of everyone she did when she said florals for spring groundbreaking because yeah, now exactly. no one wants to do no one wanted to do it, do I, it correctly. I wonder how many times people said florals for spring groundbreaking yesterday like, oh at least, probably at least a 10, million. Um, we'll say it right off the top. Obviously, Taylor Swift not there. Yeah, pretty unfortunate. Yeah, we, really we kind of hope. expected yeah. that by the end of it. Like yesterday, kind of seemed like it just wasn't gonna happen. Mm-hmm. When I feel like when Anna Wintour throws out that like, oh, you never know. Like it just means she's that not coming. That was tough. That was tough for us. So yesterday we were on alert all day. We kind of thought that um taylor was probably already going to be in paris i mean she's right on the heels of the show like whatever it's about to happen so not surprised she didn't do anything this weekend travis was both in um at the kentucky derby and at the f1 races Mm -hmm. in miami so he did everything that uh, that was on his schedule but taylor it sounds like went straight to paris and is just living that life can i say one thing about travis yeah that man (laughs) does he only own two piece sets yes it's actually shocking he to me about how he set. only wears matching sets. No one to loves a every set more event. than him. And I love a set. I'm wearing a set. Like before I put this pajamas on, I have a set. And I'm I'm always wearing sets. I love a set for but sure. He, he he owns them all. Like every set that you've ever seen in your life that's made for like a, a semi fashionable man, yeah. Travis Kelsey. He owns, owns it. it. I mean it's yeah. crazy. I don't think yeah. I've ever I haven't seen since him and his buddy it's went hilarious. to the Australia shows. He's been in a set ever mm-hmm. since. Mm-hmm. I, you got to respect the commitment to the game, I it's, guess. It's pretty funny. But I'll say this. He looked good at the Derby. Oh, he looked great. Good at the Derby. Oh, I love I the fedora. Yeah, I love the fedora. Yeah. It looked great. Um, looked good at F1 as well. He was wearing kind of, he was more broed out there, mm-hmm. which I was surprised by because F1's usually like kind of hoity-toity like Euro mm. rich people. But I guess the vibe was kind of not that this year. Right. Like, based on pictures Miami's and stuff I saw. Miami's maybe like a little different. A little diff. Like yeah. street style, you know? Totally. And it was definitely more along those lines. But so yes, Taylor was not with Travis all weekend and she did not go to the Met. And um, but the good news is a ton of her friends did. Mm. And as always, she um, was a topic of conversation. People were asking, what's your favorite Taylor song? Blah, blah, blah. Right. We'll get into that, too. Before we uh, start listing out the people at the Met Gala, though, we do have to acknowledge and touch upon the Tom Brady roast. Oh, OK. Which was quite the quite the thing that happened over the weekend. Yeah. Only mentioning it because um, after everybody ripped apart Tom Brady for three fucking hours, which was it was, it was just a lot like it was. A, I like a roast. But it was, uh, I think people were like hankering for a roast. Like people were mm. just like dying to be mean. It's been a minute. And it's been a minute. People are dying to be mean. So they got that all out of their, out of their um, systems. Yeah. But at, at the end, of course, we crack up because everyone's always like, you know, oh, Taylor Swift that, Taylor Swift this. And she's got the song. They told me everything is not about me, but what if it is? Yeah. And lo and behold, Tom Brady makes a Taylor Swift joke. Like, yeah. Uh, which I wasn't, I mean, whatever. It was Tom Brady. He just got ripped apart. And everybody told him that his wife, like, fucked the jiu-jitsu instructor, like, a yeah, thousand times so before brutal. that. So he can, like, lash out. If he needs to lash out, you know, on Taylor Swift, that's fine. Yeah. He, he didn't even really like, say anything that bad. He was just like, Tay-Tay. He said, he's um, bringing all your fans. Yeah. Like this, they brought up the Chiefs. Somebody brought up the Chiefs at some yeah. point and how they're like coming for that ass. And he was like, you know, it's easy to fill a stadium when all your fans are 14 year old girls. Yeah. Yeah. He said. Yeah. So, and you know, whatever, Tom Brady, like again, I'll give you, I'll give you a pass on this one because, uh, because you had your heart ripped out and stomped on the ground on yeah. the stage in front of everybody. However, I've got my eyeballs on you. I was hoping that maybe someone would stick up for Taylor and go at Kim. That would have been wild. Oh yeah, would have been like, there. "What up, Amy?" Kim was Kim Kardashian was at the thing. She roasted Tom Brady a little bit. She got booed like a motherfucker. Yeah, and which is she, crazy. Some bad jokes going her way. Yeah, I felt I'll, bad. We were talking about this yesterday. Yeah. The, it doesn't feel good to like. It doesn't feel good when you want to be. I don't know. Like no. she, Kim obviously sucks, but I I am not really sure why she like even put herself in that situation. And then at the same time. Um, you know, I'm not going to sit here and like wave a flag for her, but I'm not going to like jump on. I'm not going to pile on. Yeah. Yeah. Know? Yeah. She got it bad. She got it bad. Yeah. The public beef was crazy. The public beef. The, the joke Tony that he Hinchcliffe. made was like. Tony Hinchcliffe. Yeah. Um, you know, we already have a lot of black athletes celebrating your end zone. Then he said, close your legs, Kim. You have more public beef than Kendrick and Drake, <laughs> which is crazy. 
crazy. It's just public for, beef. For someone who's been like closely following the Kendrick Drake beef all weekend, like it really that was like just timely. A yeah, really, like a very, funny joke. Yeah, very funny. But, but also but like you know definitely gross. Definitely, yeah, I just whatever. telling a woman to close her legs is just crazy. The only thing with that is like that's how they talk to women at roast. So it's like you have to go in being like, all yeah. right, it's gonna be misogynistic. Like that's gonna be the night. I just am shocked that that Kim agreed to like be there and and be a subject of some roasting and and do all that. And, you know, credit where credit's due, she took it on the chin. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. She got literally booed to the point where Kevin Hart had to be like, okay, enough. And she just kind of plowed through, told some funny jokes. You know, she doesn't write her own jokes, but yeah. just funny jokes. And, um, you know, showed up to the Met Gala the next day looking looking ridiculous. <laughs> I, I, I didn't like her look. Shall we start off with her then? Let's, uh, yeah, let's start with her because we're already talking about her. Um, what's up with the sweater, Kim? What's up with the sweater, Kim? <laughs> yeah. Great fucking question. She's wearing uh, John Galliano, and she had it was a beautiful silver dress. It was a skirt and a corset top. Um, mm. I'm sick of the corsets. Too many. Like I know that this theme is like literally very for corsets, corset. Yeah, but come on, Kim, I'm sick what are of we the. Doing? She. I feel like she does this look every time. Like the small ass waist with the big butt. Like it's she's she's done this before with like the wet look, mm-hmm. and then like with the um. The Marilyn Monroe look mm-hmm. too, like we've seen it before. It didn't match the theme. It no. looked like she was in pain, and then the sweater just threw the whole thing off. I th- I think it was you that said like, did she have a wardrobe malfunction no, or something? No, like there, there's nothing it, in it my seemed mind. Odd. Yeah, there's nothing in my mind that makes me think that. So Kim walked out with like a pilly gray sweater like wrapped around her shoulders, like literally looked like she pulled it out from underneath the couch, like yeah. full in. Like it, it was just not. <laughs> and her, but here's what. Okay, she had that on. And again, this the small waist thing. She is obsessed with that. Like, she yeah. has a problem where she needs her waist to be small. Yeah. And like, I hope she gets better because it's, someone it's had constant. a really funny tweet where they're like, "This bitch is just continuously like throwing women back like a oh, million yeah, yeah, years." Oh yeah, I saw that. Yeah. I saw that. Yeah, she all she does is like hold us back. But, yeah. But you know, in terms of progress, but so she um she's got the dress on and whatever. And like, we all know Kim's body's insane. Like, we all know that she can like be beautiful. She gets the blonde hair going. She's it's like tousled. Whatever. Yeah, I like, like the little, bleached hair look. Yeah, I, I do too yeah. actually and then she's got the braid going on but so her explanation was like oh we just wanted it to look like that i this is why i why i think it was uh like a hundred percent some sort of mm. wardrobe malfunction she said that oh we just wanted it to look like i was just out having the most wild night like in a garden and i like was rolling around and like stayed out of my boyfriend's house and just like grabbed this sweater and like here i am that was the, the word for word the explanation. Not even exaggerating. Weird that makes thing. no sense. No fucking sense. And for someone you're who grabbing went, a gross ass tattered gray sweater after rolling around in a garden. No, it just ma- like none of it made sense. Yeah, none that of it seems made like sense. all right. So we need me, a we need a last yeah. minute explanation for this. Something went had to happen uh. because I don't know. But regardless, whatever sweater aside, I'm sure she would have looked great. But like whatever. So moving yeah. on. Not great. Um. I have a whole little listy. Perfect. Let's just go down the list. Yeah, let's just go down the we list. We have um, notable moments. Camila Cabello walks out in a Swarovski. I didn't like that dress either. I didn't really like it, but you know what I did like? She was holding a block of ice. Oh. So it was a real block of ice she was holding. It was supposed to be a purse with like a chain, and the chain broke. Oh. Inside was a like uh, a rose, a right? metallic rose, mm, cool. like a bronze or metal rose. And so the ice was like melting in her hands, and she was like moving it back and forth. I mean, that's pretty probably cool. freezing. And that's like, cool, though. Definitely, definitely freezing. Definitely like is is the juice worth the squeeze? But whatever. Mm. Um, but no, I I wasn't a fan of the dress, and I want to say that every dress on the carpet. Whether it was um, Camilla, whether it was M. Radikowski, fucking J. Lo, the naked dress with the crystal. So all tired over it. of it. Tired. Really, so tired. So tired. J. Lo, J. Lo does that look every time. Every it feels like every fucking time. Yeah. They, they showed pictures of J. Lo like previous years. I think there's six instances where she's yeah. wearing the and, same and outfit. And she eats. It's like ridiculous. She looks amazing. She looks great. She looks beautiful. But like. It's but the like, same fucking thing. Yeah, you I'm gotta bored th- to tears. Maybe think of something else. I did not like her hair and makeup either. I thought her hair and makeup looked like garbage. She's I, so beautiful, and I think that she looked like she literally, like, she looked like me. I just rolled out of bed. Like, that's how she looked last night. Yeah. And I was I, like, what the fuck is going on It was here? not my favorite no. from her. Definitely not. Especially coming as a chairman, like, you should really be throwing something that's out there that's saying. crazy. Yeah. She's a chairman. Oh, yeah. Chairmans of the of the gala were J-Lo, Zendaya, Bad Bunny, and Chris Hemsworth. 
Um, Chris Hemsworth, what the fuck? Why were you wearing a what tan suit? Tom Ford, which I, you know we love Tom Ford. No, but he could, that that suit was the most basic suit. No he looked tie, so nothing. handsome for sure. Looked He's great. The most He's handsome there man. Wife, there with his wife, and she had on just like a gold, you know, whatever. Yeah, it's um, like we're not going to a wedding on the no. beach. We're going to the Met Gala, Chris. That's exactly what it looked like. Wedding yeah. on the beach. I was like, this is just bad. So I don't know. I, you know, he was a co-chair. Someone should have stepped in and helped him. Like, if you're a chair like that, you got to be. But Bad Bunny be. was. Like, Bad Bunny looked amazing. I liked the hat, but I didn't like the glasses. His like I little square glasses mm-hmm. kind of remind me of the Stephen Stephen Che from that movie from the Barstool movie. Oh my god, it really does. <laughs> yeah, it really did look like that. Yeah, but I liked that even when Stephen Che did it. It was it was like chilling. I really yeah. Liked it. Speaking of tiny glasses, Jeff Goldblum also. He Jeff slayed. Goldblum looking great. And wearing, looking, he's like, such a character. looking like the wizard. He's a yeah. wicked. So yeah. that's that's his whole thing. I love him. He's yeah. he's a national treasure for sure. I love him so much. He and he, Bad Bunny, and uh, Dan Levy, who mm. were uh, Dan Lueve. Levy Slade. The way they dressed like 10 people on the carpet last night. I so would have, people. like, I would give up a limb to be a part of that Loewe squad. I know. So the like, squad was uh, Taylor Russell. Yep. Anna Winter herself was wearing it. Mm. Josh O'Connor. Yep. Dan Levy. Greta Lee. And um, Mike Fast. Mike. No, no, no. He was not wearing. Yeah, he, he was, was. Was he? He wasn't in their little. Their, they did like a TikTok. Lueve did like a TikTok. Oh, but he was a part of their squad. Oh, I'm like 99 percent sure. It. Yeah. A.O. Because they all took like a selfie on the bus and right. someone tweeted like, oh, Mike Fast is like with all the Lueve guys. No. Yeah, he was. Okay, he was. Yeah. Then why wasn't he? That's so crazy. Why? I wonder why he wasn't in their cute little. Um, yeah, their little like their little video. I'm passing the phone. Because I just looked at it right before this. But mm. yeah, it makes sense. So. Oh, so, Taylor. Did you say Taylor Russell? You did, right? Taylor Russell. Yeah. 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 She had on a 3D printed Ooh. like chest piece. So cool. Thing. Looked like it was made out made of, wood. of wood. Yeah. yeah. Which I love for There's the theme especially. There's actually two wood corsets. Can you believe? Yeah, crazy. I don't know who the other girl was. Yeah, me neither. But she had a wood. Hers was also very cool. Very cool. Hers looked like real wood, like they carved it out. Yeah. Like hers was crazy. But, um, but you know, it, they were showing the the rings, like in a tree. Knots, very cool. Passage of time. Yeah, whole yeah. Things that really fits in. Really love that look. Um, have to give a shout out to Carly Kloss wearing Swarovski. You uh, really like that look. Bla- I mean, cherry blossom. Cherry blossom dress. Yeah, it was fucking awesome. Yeah. And also the best dress I've seen Carly wear on a carpet in years. Like usually she she sucks. Looking like, camp right in the eye. <laughs> yes. Happy <laughs> happy anniversary. Favorite. That literally might be my favorite meme. <laughs> Looking camp right in the eye, and then the outfit that she literally wore was showed up in nothing. a like in a, a party city dress. <laughs> it was so bad. So yeah. Shout out to her. Oh, something cool about her too, and the other girls that are wearing Swarovski, not Camilla, who was also wearing it, but. Carly was with three other models, one of them being Anouk, who I love. And they were the four seasons. Oh, I didn't love. Know. So Carly was spring. Anouk oh. was winter. And then I forget. I don't know who the other two girls were. Yeah. They were models. You know, oh, love that. Models. Love really that. Really cute. All wearing, all very complimentary. People were saying they look like Flora, Fauna, and Meriwether from Sleeping Beauty. Oh, so cute. I love which that. Which is cute. Um, massive shouts to uh, Balmain. They styled Elle Fanning and Tyla. Ooh, that was Balmain? Yep. Oh, okay. So Elle Fanning wore this. It looked like Oof. it was made of glass or water or something. It was this like uh, clear dress and it had these like water. Like ripples. Almost. Yeah, ripples. Yeah. It had these like water birds. Yeah, at the, sh- of, the shoulders. Yeah, like going off. Apparently they were sculpted like just for this dress and she just looked insane. Oof. She's so stunning. Like That's like, that's perfect. what you do for the Met. Like you bring out these pieces that are one of one you've never exactly. seen before. Like, Something that really takes your breath away and that, mm-hmm. like, you, like, want to, like, inspect almost, you know? Like, mm-hmm. all the littlest details. Elle Fanning and Tyler, they just knocked it out of the park. Especially the park. with, to not to move on from Elle so quickly, but Tyler with the passage of time and the sand. Um, what is that, what is that wearing, thing called? It's a, an hourglass. Hourglass, Tyler yeah. Was, Tyler was wearing, who's a Grammy a Grammy winner. I am unfamiliar make with Make me sweat. Yeah. I had to make hey, me harder. Yeah, I had to look, I have to like lose. double check because yeah. I didn't know. But, which is make embarrassing. Make me water. Up. <laughs> she wore a dress that was like made of sand, sculpted yeah, to her body. So fucking cool. Um, I, it looked as if they did like a paper mache something to get yeah. the fr- the shape of her body. Yeah. And then they put sand all over it. Oh. She had to be carried up the carpet. She couldn't walk. The way that they lifted her to Hilarious. each step, like, she, <laughs> that's so the Met Gala again. Like, luxury, like, camp something you've never seen before the the fact that she's wearing a piece that you need to be picked up to Mm -hmm. each step like that 
is absurdity thinking outside of the box wearing it's something the hunger that, games yeah. people yeah. don't people still are not understanding like the met gala is the only time and they kept saying it. i was watching the e, New, e news coverage which by the way e news they're too they're too nice like, i i watched uh, was, i do vote i watch vote. i i i should have turned on vogue yeah because e news is slipping but so um <laughs> they were saying uh that this, you know, fashion is Vegas night, whatever. Like, this is a carpet. This is the only time, the only carpet that you have a chance to, like, really go all out and, and basically wear a costume. Yeah, like, yeah, this totally. Is not, it's like, yes, wear fashions, but also, like, be crazy, be wild. Yeah. And um, I love when people actually, like, when they do, do their yeah, job, me they too. pay attention to it. Me too. And, and Tyla was, was spot on oh. with it. They had to lift her up the stairs. But then leaving the party, it looked like they cut, cut. just cut it her seemed, dress so she could walk. It, it, it was funny how many uh, women, when they were leaving the party, it seemed like everyone had like some sort of detachable train or For something sure. because yep. everyone walked up with these insane mm -hmm. outfits and then everyone left with like a piece of their outfit missing completely always piece of their outfit missing and also just a ton of wardrobe changes yeah, this year. yeah. Like, which i love i love a wardrobe change oh like, yeah I'm, I'm so down but i always wonder like what are, are all the designers and stuff waiting inside the met and like do they go off into like other rooms to change and like where do they go yeah i don't to, know like, do all these changes? in the bathroom i guess <laughs> like it's just kind of crazy but um, speaking of somebody who had a detachable train, hmm. Gigi, bestie I, Gigi. I really liked her look. I she got too. a lot Tom of Brown. hate for her look, and I, did she? I mean, just I, just I just saw a lot of comments of people saying she looked like a cake, which Ooh. she did look like a cake, <laughs> but she in a tasteful like a cake, way, but in a good way, in a, I, a beautiful cake. I had no problem with Gigi's outfit. Yeah. I thought that she looked really cute. I, I like the yellow. Loved the yellow, yeah. yellow and white. Tom Brown, she wore. Um, exciting part of her carpet uh, walk. Someone asked her, what's your favorite hmm. song off Torch of Poets? And she said, Down Bad. And I, I don't favorite. blame her. It's a great fucking song. Great song. Yeah. Great she. Song. I liked her um, short hair look, too. I did, too. I also wearing adorable. Tom Brown, um, oh. Cynthia Ervo. Did you see oh, her look? Oh, yes. Irvino? Mm -hmm. Irvino? Yeah, yeah. Irvino, Irvino? I, Cynthia, I don't know. Irvino. Wicked, obviously. Yeah, she's yeah, yeah, going to yeah. play Alpha Bone Wicked. Yes. She wore Hers custom town brown. She also had like a bit of a cherry blossom, cherry blossom. look going on mm -hmm. with like a two piece, like suit almost. Oof, I loved it. I thought it Gorgeous. was so unique. Black with the, with the pink petals on top. Yeah, it looked like the Butterfly petals the were like falling down her as she was walking. So, so unique. And it complemented perfectly with Ariana Grande's outfit. It did. Um, I, I, I really loved Cynthia's look. Cynthia, um, Cynthia was really, really gorgeous. Yeah. Ariana, why am I not having her on my list? I have her for... You didn't like her outfit, I thought. I didn't. I Well, I didn't like her... Um, oh, here she is. She, oh, oh my God. Ariana wearing fucking Lueve as well. Oh, she was. She, her, her white gown when she walked the okay. carpet was custom the, Lueve. The, the performance gown was Margiela? Yes. Okay. And so that's... So the performance gown, I fucking love. Stunning. Stunning. Gorgeous. So perfect. So on theme. Ariana Grande was the performer of the Met Gala every year. They have a surprise performer. It's one of the celebrities that goes there mm. and is there. And this year it was Ariana. She performed a medley of her songs. I saw she's Play. singing Seven Rings. She's yeah, singing all kinds of She did of her hits, it seems bunch like. Of hits. Yeah. One of the uh, We Can't Be Friends. Oh, wait, I actually, I, I, um, I found a list of it. Oh. And she ended with, um, she brought Cynthia up on stage and they did, uh, they sang together. Shut up. Did they do I a know. Wicked song? Uh, yeah, I think so. Oh, yeah, yeah. it's um. So sh she sang. Ariana sang. Once upon a dream, into you. Which once upon a dream, like like Sleeping Beauty. Yeah, yeah. I know yeah. You, once I upon a dream. I would have dream. cried my fucking eyes out to that. It's beautiful. I bet that sounded beautiful. Into you, Seven Rings, The Boy Is Mine, We Can't Be Friends, Yes, and and then When You Believe with Cynthia. Oh wow. Oh, Arivo, you're right. Why oh, okay. have I been saying Arvino? I, I don't know. Saying Irvino I for thought like it was months. Arivo. You're right. Maybe I'm just dyslexic. Um, so <laughs> as usual, so that's what she sang. Her outfit was unbelievable. This I actually really thing, liked her underneath. her red her carpet look. Oh, did you? I know people thought it was boring, but I thought it was like so ethereal. I loved her eye makeup too, with the little the like eyes. wings. Her glam and it was just, great. Her just so I don't know. I really liked it. Just very very beautiful. It was beautiful for sure. It just was kind of like lacking. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I feel like I saw a lot of white gowns on the carpet that didn't really blow me away, mm. generally speaking. Um, let's see. Let's go to all of like all of Taylor's friends. We've got Lana wearing McQueen. Mm. She had on. She looked like a big a big tree had branches going up and a she little. She looked like the yellow jacket. Her. Antlers. I, yeah, I liked did. it. It was a little creepy. Did you see that she did her Vogue interview with Kim? 
They did it together. Oh my god, no. Well, I yeah. saw them take a picture. Mm. I didn't see her do doing the actual interview. I did yeah. see her with. I was like, what the hell, Lana? Back up. I know. Well, they just did the skims. Yeah, thing, I so get it. And be like, oh, whatever. Yeah. Um, they asked Lana what her favorite song by Taylor was, and she said, "Who's afraid of little old me?" Mm, so, love, love. Makes sense for Lana. Um, yeah, totally. Also, friends. Let's see. Sabrina wore Oscar de la Renta. I. I'm 50-50 on this. Same. I didn't like it at first. It's growing, it's growing on, on me. On me. Yes. Mm-hmm. I 100% agree. Growing on me now. I like the contrast with the black and the blue. Mm-hmm. Thought it was on theme. It's kind of seemed like her and Barry maybe went for like some sort of Alice in Wonderland type they thing. They kind of look like that. Because like he kind of looked like the Mad Hatter and totally. she kind of looked like Alice. Mm-hmm. Um, but she looked beautiful. I loved um, that she looked very pale. I was going to say, she, like, paled it up. Like, yeah, she paled I, like, it up. Did she get a, like, reverse spray tan? Like, I've never seen her look so pale. Like, she I know. usually is very, you know what I mean? She's 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 that me espresso. Yeah. Like, she's, she's always got yeah, that spray exactly. tan going. But, no, she was very pale. Right, she looked very Victorian. Yeah, which yeah. Which I think, too, so did Barry. Barry wearing Burberry, by the way. He must have a deal with Burberry because he yeah. wore Burberry all to Coachella and everything, too. Bur- <laughs> Barry's outfit. Listen, I appreciated Barry's I Barry. outfit. I loved it. I love, I love Barry it. because that's, he's on theme. Completely. On the nose literally mm-hmm. but does he look Aristocat- like a little lad yes aristocrats aristocrats aristocratic like that yeah was yeah the, that was basically the vibe you know um we had cara Delevingne and ed sheeran besties and stella mccartney they look terrible not good god damn they not look terrible and stella what are you doing that. stella even with fka twigs she didn't really, she look, didn't really good look good either. either they were all very chaotic on the carpet yeah, like, they, they were. Stella's like, Stella's a chaotic woman. It she's, seems like she's a crazy lady for yeah. sure. We love Stella, but uh, yeah, it wasn't my favorite look. No, Ed it, looked very uncomfortable. He looked like an awkward nerd at senior prom that doesn't have a date. Exactly. I do think that that was maybe the intention. Like <laughs> his blue suit. No, that is like he looked like he looked like blue suit at prom. Like like Dumb and Dumber. Like that's kind yeah. Of like, like blue suits are tough. Like they have to be really good or mm. they look like cheap prom yeah and i think this one was leaning more cheap prom but i think it might have been intentional like i think that mm. it's like passage of time like that's a time in life right prom. 80s prom Ed sheeran doesn't really like do they have proms in the uk like yeah i don't actually, I don't actually know do they i don't know like, honestly sir, what's the equivalent i don't know let us let homecoming us yeah um so that was what they were wearing cara delavine had on this like, like a headdress head yeah it was basically like a medieval night like yeah 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 uh, looked like um like chain link that you would put over your head like as a knight but it was made of lab grown diamonds actually they said yeah all of this stuff was lab grown diamonds right on Ed's suit as well yeah and um nfk twigs as well and the thing about all that is that's all fine but they were all like dying of a heat stroke like did you see cara delavine trying to talk to or she was trying to talk to ross matthews and she like couldn't breathe she was like this is crazy like jesus everyone by the time they got over to ross matthews was sweating so much that they couldn't breathe. Like Nicole Kidman almost passed out. Like she had, a, she was having a hard time. Yeah, she just well, kept being like, "I'm so flushed. I'm so flushed. Like I need to like." Like she was desperately trying to get off. So it must geez. have been. A it was hot, kind there. of. Yeah, must have been a million degrees. Um, who else? Before we get into like you know, t- true fashion. Oh, right. Oh, you know who was on the carpet? And I think it's I think it's high time we reveal. Oh, who we yes. had our eyes on and who we were looking for all night. Dun, 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 dun. Maria Sharapova. Yes. Rolled up wearing Prabal Garong by Bowl and Branch. Yes. yes. She was our celeb. She wore a beautiful. So, okay. Our um, sleep masks that we're wearing right now yes. are actually made of the same color and material that Maria was wearing on the carpet. She had a, it's like a, it's like a greenish yellow, mm-hmm. very tennis, very tennis, which like tennis is hot in the streets right now. Yeah. I still haven't seen challengers, which cause why I thought of it cause I want to bring up uh, Zendaya next. But so um, Maria Sharapova was there. Anna loves her. Mm. I love her. Can I, I love her. A hilarious, like how crazy this is. And I yeah. even when we like found out that Maria was going to be the one wearing the Bull and Branch uh, couture. Yeah. We like I didn't say this when we were talking about it at the time, but I had a job at one point. It was like freelance for like social posting and whatever. And Maria, I don't know if she still has it. I'm sure she does. Like, I don't know what's going on. But she had this thing called Sugar Pova for a while. That Ooh. was like a candy thing. Okay. And so I helped do her social media for like, a, I don't know, four, three months. That's maybe. funny. I don't even know. So when they said it was going to be Maria, I was like, oh, my fucking girl. Oh my girl. God, my girl. I was like, yeah. she is looking great on the Met Gala carpet. Yeah. The Met Gala carpet and just and crushing it. So um, yeah, very she's cool. Beautiful. 
the collaboration was with uh, Prabal Garang, who is notoriously fantastic at all, all carpets, all fashion. I'm yeah. a huge fan. So I, this well, the way that they incorporated like tennis and the theme, you know, she had those like the big flowers on her it was train. Awesome, very, it was awesome. very, very beautiful. Very, I, I, like cloud floaty. Yeah, like, you know, and, and the, the color was the dress like, itself underneath was very like it. It looked bandage, but. Mm. Oh, I just I loved it. I really liked it. I, I really liked did. the color. It was it was definitely like out of comfort zone for the seemed like no one really took like a bright color. No, which, which was I a was shame. expecting more. Me too. Yeah. She looked the color was really what what did it for yeah. me for her. So it was just crazy that the entire dress was made out of bull and branch bedding fabric. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. it just shows how comfortable and amazing like their fabric is. And you know I loved how they leaned into the theme of Sleeping Beauties. It was just mm-hmm. amazing, and they just crafted such a beautiful dress um with the most luxurious sheets ever from bull and branch yep. um their quality is next level and they made it out onto fashion's biggest night which is such a huge accomplishment and you've essentially got everything you need for the best night's sleep in that outfit and our friends at bull and branch partnered with probable grung to craft the most beautiful met gala dress with their luxurious sheet fabric this is one of the most coolest most unexpected collaborations and now it feels like people need to get the sheets like if you can wear this as a dress like now you need to get the sheets to know what it feels like so honestly yes and I just it's it's really um it it blows me away how they were able to kind of make pull this together honestly pull this together I don't know we'll have to ask our besties over at Bowling Branch like how long exactly they had Mm. been planning this how quickly the dress came together yeah because um I mean it it was it's high fashion you know what I mean like I I was shocked because um like I said we were doing this we love our besties but you know we're told there's gonna be a dress on the carpet it's you know it's made of the bedding and we don't know what it's gonna look like and um um, it just it blew it blew my socks yeah. off. I can't believe how how beautiful it looks and how how beautiful the fabric looked. So huge shouts to them. Yeah. Big shouts to Maria. Yeah. For slaying the house boots down. Legit. And staying on theme for staying on theme for the Met and, and on theme for, for her, tennis yeah. being the hottest right yeah. now with challengers. So get twenty percent off your first set of sheets plus free shipping at bullandbranch.com with promo code Keegs. That's Bull and Branch B O L L A N D Branch.com. Promo code Keegs. Exclusions apply. See site for details. Perfect. Slay. Perfect. Slay perfect. Maria. Maria looking fantastic, but also, like I said, on theme for tennis. Um, the well, before we get to the woman of the hour, because mm. she just like I, I, I want to talk about it for like fifteen minutes straight. Obviously, we'll talk about our our boys, mm. uh, Josh O'Connor and yeah. Mike Feist. Feist. How Is do it say? Feist or Fat Feist? Fast. I don't. I don't know. I don't know me either. Mike. F a i s t is how it's pr- how it's spelled. Yeah. That's all yeah. I know. Both wearing Louis Vuitton. We talked about it before. Um, for, first carpet for both of them, right? I think so. Looking cute. Very they, cute. They, you know, they did they did it okay. Mike was wearing a little radish on his chest. I like the radish. Josh had some floral shoes. The shoes were interesting. They looked like grandma's gardening shoes. Yes, but they that's do. okay. And everybody they were the talk of the town. Like everybody they really was were. just so excited to yeah. see them at this, you know, at this event, whatever. Everyone loves them right now. Everyone and I don't blame them. Right them. I love them right now. I love them off of them forever, those cutie little boys. Of course. Josh O'Connor I is see the so movie. cute. I, I was supposed to see it this weekend and then it's I so good. Was it really is so good. There's a, a little bit too many slow mo scenes, Ooh, but that's okay. fine. Okay. okay. Very okay. good. Yeah. I'm prepared. I would like Very to, be able to somehow take. watch it on the plane. You think I could? You think it'll I don't think it's no, no, it's not. It's, it's too, yeah, it's too still new. in theaters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But hmm. very interesting take on tennis and like relationships that's and how they saying. coincide. Yeah. That's what everyone's saying. Yeah. And I'm excited to uh, to break that all down. But woman of the hour. Zendaya. She saved, saved the she night. She saved the night. She yeah. really saved the night. I'm, I'm looking around on, on this list, and yeah, there's a, a bunch of other, uh, you know, beautiful people, really, mm. that we went down. Kendall wearing Givenchy, never before worn before. Yeah, that was crazy. Kylie wearing Asa de la Renta. Kylie was so Honestly, boring. Boring as fuck. So yeah. boring. Doja Cat doing something crazy. Kendall kind of reminded me of Nesta or Charon. Yeah, she. Kendall looked great. Yeah, she looked and fabulous. She always looks great. She always looks great. That's she the thing about Kendall. Really like, she never has to go on the theme because no matter what, she looks no. great. But and I do think it theme. was on theme for sure. Yeah. Uh, the one of one, like made on a mannequin, never mm-hmm. been touched. Mm-hmm. C- very, very cool. And the look of it itself was very regal. Like, it looked, she kind of looked like a. 
you know, everybody kind of had like a Maleficent vibe. Mm. Like if you went darker with it, you had yeah. like a Maleficent or like a... Like Emma Chamberlain. Yeah. Had yes. like a spider vibe. Emma Chamberlain's was great. So Thank you for cool. Saying. I completely forgot to even write her on my list. Yeah. I'm obsessed with Emma Chamberlain. Obsessed. Um, and right, the like the darker side of things and that kind of like, like evil stepmother mm-hmm. vibe. Like that's kind of how some of these people... Mm-hmm. Um, you know, interpreted the theme and I really like it. And I think Kendall kind of falls into that category, yeah. but also falling in that category is Zendaya. Yeah. Um, she was wearing, um, custom Margiela by John Galliano himself. So beautiful. So stunning. She's kind of giving Clara Bow with the makeup. Big time Clara yeah. Bow with the makeup. She, uh, the gown was inspired by a, a pre-existing gown, a gown mm. that already existed. Slightly changed the colors a little bit. She had Love like the colors. grapes hanging. It was like a forbidden fruit type thing. Like Garden of Eden Garden type of, of thing. Eden. So yes. cool. Just Awesome. The thin eyebrows. The makeup was makeup insane. was on point. Catch yeah. me trying to do my makeup like that on Friday. I'm not even kidding. Like I like will the do it. Like, she she just was oh just serving face so hard it was insane. Truly excellent. Law Roach is her stylist, Ugh. and he also styled um, another girl on the carpet, Mona Patel. Yes, who I don't know. I don't know her either. And um and what a debut! Like what a debut! She was the talk time. Time. of the town talk of the town yeah if i never noticed her or if this is her first met i'm honestly not sure i think she's an actress i think i should have looked up but she came in with this uh like a beige gown that was that was modeled after butterflies and had moving working mm, butterflies so cool on her arms it was and to, it was kind of giving like futuristic like, totally like but also back in time Completely. like yeah and it sounds kind of like clunky when you describe it like that it was it looked light so it, elegant she, the way she walked was yeah. perfect the way that the butterflies were just so like carefully moving mm. like she looked like she stepped out of a out of a garden it was insane yeah law roach just he, he crushes it every time he, he really knows how to yeah. just per- pick the perfect look for each girl just do something for them that like just flat is so flattering yep. perfect for them like mm-hmm. he just knows how to fit a theme he knows how to dress zendaya it's just they are t- two peas in a pod what a what a great little team they have and they're, she they're uh Cinna and katniss everybody says literally it. Everyone literally says it. Mm-hmm. And so we weren't done with just one look. Yeah. Went She's back like, inside. I have to come back and save this night because you bitches can't even it. show up. Because I will say, a lot of the women, um, like Tyla, Elle Fanning, I think mm-hmm. Taylor Russell, like they did such a great job. But mm-hmm. I f- think because of the lack of people that we're used to seeing, it felt like it wasn't. It felt a little mid. It felt like nobody range. served. Yeah, yeah. It felt like nobody nobody ate anything. It's like. Yeah, weren't you guys hungry? Like, yeah, literally. But so yeah, we missed had to all come the back. big players. We missed Blake. No Blake. No yeah. Beyonce. Yeah. No, I saw no Rihanna. List, no Rihanna. Yeah. Um, I saw a no, list. Taylor, no, no Taylor. No Billie Eilish. No Billy. Um, did you see that same list I saw? It was probably. like no this, no that. No Harry. No Harry. Yeah. Ridiculous. No Timmy. I've been favoriting too many tweets. Where are no. all my white boys? Where are all my where white are boys? Where are all the white the boys? Where's like, Where's Callum Turner? Where's Paul Mescal? Where's Timmy? Where's um, Pedro Pascal? Oh, he's, he's... Where was Pedro? Yeah. Where was Pedro? No, literally. So many people not. I'm trying to find a list of people that like weren't there. Laverne Cox not there. Mm. Um, Just like a ton of... I, I don't know. A ton of people that normally we would see were not there. And Jeremy Allen White. Where's he? Jeremy Allen White. Great fucking question. Yeah. Ayo was there. Where's yeah. Jeremy? Yeah. I just assume they come as a pair to me. Um. But I think the right. So Zendaya had to get back in line and just do the, run, run it back, do that carpet again. Came out mm-hmm. in another. Um, oh, also, a- wait, did I say Pedro Pascal's a white boy? That's wrong. Pedro Pascal oh, yeah, not, not a white boy. Sorry, uh, to Pedro Givenchy Pascal. is is what um, Zendaya was wearing. So yes, different. But so she, what I am excited to talk about here is. Um, Let's see. Hold on. I want to see if there's. I read like a like a whole description of the dress, and it was exactly what I had thought, um, which is that she. Oh, here it is. Here it is. In a regal corseted bodice from Givenchy's Spring Summer '96 Couture Collection, Zendaya Ooh. doubled down on the gothic theme. She went a level up on her headwear, an Alexander McQueen piece from the Spring Summer '07 collection that mimicked the look of an off off kilter bouquet of flowers. Yep. Sitting just below, she went for bulgari earrings, which we love. Um, but the thing about the dress, and which I, you know, the Swifties will recognize, will all be excited about, mm. is the the dress itself is like a 
a take on that Victorian like morning yeah, dress, yeah. but hers is like cut off at the top to make it look more salacious. Yeah. That was like another thing that I read. It's like purposefully supposed to be like seductive, mm. but also like forbidden mm. death, like yeah, vibes, yeah. whatever, which is just like the dress that Taylor wore in the Fortnite video. Yeah. The yeah. Big shoulders. Ruffles. The black. Yeah. Mm hmm. So, and to be honest, like that look that Taylor was wearing in Fortnite, that would have like served face on the carpet. Oh, like, that totally. Been amazing. Yeah. That would have been yeah. exactly right. So I loved seeing Zendaya wearing something that just reminded me of it. Cause mm. I was like, oh yeah. I love the, amazing. the flower bouquet head, so head piece. Cool. So cool. So cool. So cool. And just really brought in, like brought together with the theme. To, yeah. Mm -hmm. I felt the same way with the vibe of the dress kind of like. Like the the maybe the other woman showing up to yes. the funeral type yes. of vibe, like big time the revenge yeah. dress, yeah, like yeah, reven you know, shades. Very of that. very cool, just really really. And pretty. the I like that how the flowers were like bright colors too. Mm -hmm. Just uh, I'll, just another head to toe, just an amazing plus. look from Zendaya. She just never ceases to amaze us she's never missed for and me. law as well my friends last night were texting saying that they didn't really love the first look and i was like you guys are blind sorry and then later in the night they were like actually it's growing on me like, yeah that's kind of crazy the theme more i'm like okay fine but like like you got are you guys all drunk like what's going on yeah like, that's crazy my friends have been saying some crazy shit lately and i i was tweeting this on the way in here i i just had so two of my friends didn't like zendaya's outfit and i was like you're both blind and then another one today replied to my story because sabrina carpenter posted on her uh, grid a picture of her outfit and she was like I'm working late because because she's a right but all she just said was I'm working late and then my friend replied to my story and was like oh like I love that song but I just think that line is like lazy writing I'm like are you well yeah no, I literally said I said are you drunk yeah right that's now? like kind I of the he's already in Paris. point it's funny there. it's supposed to be easy it's I supposed to be a boss him for his <laughs> stupidity but he said I see he goes I love that song but I hate the line because I'm a singer just lazy writing I said are it's supposed to be cute are you drunk he said, I'm not. I don't think it's cute. I think it's dumb, lazy writing in the song. It makes sense for the caption. He ha must be drunk. He's already in Paris. Must be drunk. He must be drunk. I will not. I will yeah. not accept that. Yeah. My friends are saying some crazy. I'd rather get new friends. Like, what's happening? No, that I, that's the point of the song. It's supposed to be silly. It's supposed to be silly. Yeah. People don't get it. People um, don't get but it. But not to talk about Sabby again, but I loved her. Chris, uh, was it a chrysanthemum dress or... Oh, it what, looked what like hydrangea. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hydrangea. hydrangea is the she blue. wore, her she wore a little cute outfit. little um, hydrangea dress she just short is dress a, little, a cutie little so cute isn't she? and you know who i also love yeah they're hydrangeas or that like, people yeah, had mixed feelings about um cindy sweeney i really like oh, cindy sweeney's Sydney look sweeney. how did i forget to bring her up yeah looking like billy eilish yeah she looked just like identical Billie wearing mew mew she's a mew mew girl i really like the contrast of the Me black too. gloves and the black hair with the um like fairy princess dress yes. so cool and i i love a mix of girly and maybe a bit more gothic masculine whatever like an edge i yes i love edgy and girly mixed together Same. that's like my favorite type of style and she executed that perfectly it felt like um she looked so good with the dark hair it, it was just she was, was slaying she really did also though i will say that before she stepped onto the carpet she had a black like sheer it might have been like bedazzled jewels i'm not sure um almost like a veil over her whole head. Yeah. That was amazing. Oh, I wish she wore that. And I don't that. know why she took it off on the carpet. Maybe just so we could see her face. Yeah, but like, yeah. it was really cool. Very, her, very, very cool look from so her. if you can see that, that, you know, if you can go see that, it's really cool. Yeah. Um, Sydney Sweeney, yes. I'm trying to think who else, like, really stood out to me. Should we talk about the guys? Yeah. Well, I mean, there's nothing really to say because they all sucked. They were terrible. Everyone was terrible. Only only good ones will say um, Bad Bunny, obviously, was Bad good. Bunny, yeah. Sebastian Stan tried, and I think I didn't did even, a little more I, effort than, than, like, you know. I need to look him up. He just wore basically, like, a black cape. Um, I really liked, well, we said Dan Levy. Um, he, he won for me in terms of the men. Like, he yeah. was fucking awesome. The, so the good. The opaque, like, flowering detail. Okay, I don't hate that. I like the long coat, actually. Sebastian Stan? But it, that, yeah. this seems to be a similar vibe that every guy goes to. It's the dark suit with the crystallized or bedazzled yep. black on the suit as well. Well, they think, like, ooh, I'm putting sparkles on. It's crazy. And right. I'm basically wearing a dress. I'm so crazy. Like, um, I, I liked, I think Sebastian Stan always does a good job of, you know, trying to do something a little bit out I of agree. the ordinary. I agree. Um, a big fat thumbs down to Jack Harlow. Terrible. 
terrible. Look, all just, gray, just not just even boring. Cute. Nicholas so Galt boring. design, boring. So boring, but like, you know, come it's, on. you know, it's so funny. I mean, he looks so handsome, obviously. He's so hot. But, oh, my God. But, like, and he has, like, he had the floral crystals. embroider. Yes. Yeah, the, yeah, so, yeah, the embroidery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Or, like, um, jacquard, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, that kind of material. Yeah. But so he, um, he looks so hot. Obviously, what's so funny, though, is that before the carpets even started, we found out he was going to be on the carpet. Mm. And um, somebody tweeted, like, just need to tweet this out so nobody gets their hopes up. Like, this is him on the carpet, like, in pr- uh, previous carpets. Yeah. And just giving us nothing. So He's wearing, I, like, suits that are 90 times too big for him. Terrible. Yeah, but he really, he looks great in that he suit. He looks handsome. He just is not, you know, he's whatever. And you know who's out there, too? Billy Porter. No Billy Porter. No Billy Porter. And he always goes very hard on theme. Wow. Yeah. You know who did go crazy on the theme? Uh, Harris Reed, who also dressed Demi Moore. Oh, slay. And they wore that, like... Demi War wore that big thing that looked like a big heart dress. Yeah, I she didn't had, like, love arrows that. Arrows going out. Yeah, it was but cute. But then Harris Reed had, you know, is like nine feet tall and had a similar thing, and I don't know. That Are was they a designer. Crazy look. Yes. Okay. That was a crazy look. Usher. Oh my god! You know who Usher looked okay. Oh, I actually liked Usher. Usher roses. had a very cool reveal. I yeah, don't know he if did. you saw that, but he looked like an anime character. He looked like the guy from. Um, I forget what his name is from Sailor Moon, but he looked just like him. Oh, love Sailor like Moon. A, yeah, like a anime uh, bad guy. Very cool, cool with the rose. Um, I love. I really actually really liked Usher's look. I was surprised by how much I liked it. He's got bedazzles all over. But the did you see Harris really Dickinson? No, Do you know who that, that is? He's uh, he was in Iron Claw. Terrible. Oh, terrible. I you know I never saw Iron Claw. He he really just loves to give nothing Harris on the Dickinson? red carpet. I, I, I quote tweeted his thing, but let me see if I can find this tweet. That was so oh, funny. I, oh, I do know who he is. Oh, yeah. Some of you guys don't under... <laughs> no, I, I did oh, see. Yeah. I, I saw your quote tweet. I saw your quote oh, tweet. Yeah. I said, that guy? You know who I thought he was <laughs> for a minute? You're My bitch die. pose is nasty. <laughs> And then this, and then, this and, then they, and then they quote tweeted it with his thing. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Yeah, he, he, he doesn't know he doesn't know how to pose. You know what he looks like? Well, I like his little shirt on underneath. But you yeah, know, you know exactly who he looks like to me. Do you follow that guy that like makes food for their weirdos, and he makes food for his girlfriend, but it, everybody thinks it's like he has her locked in the basement. On no, TikTok? oh god, no. it's not because we see right. a girlfriend. It's like a joke. Like yeah, oh, okay. Into a joke. I don't know. He kind of looks like that guy. He looks just like him. People will know if you are on TikTok or honestly, I follow him on Instagram now. And he makes videos of him making food and putting it on like a serving tray, mm. and is like enjoy and goes to like serve it to you. But he's like, it's for his girlfriend, oh. and his girlfriend. I think I've this, seen like, that. Is this like like natural redhead like? so like pale alabaster skin like oh. just one of the most beautiful people i've ever seen wow and this guy looks like him and he's just very quiet and soft-spoken and like makes the food and Ooh. it's just it's hilarious I, I can't think of his name right now but if you know you know um back to the guys so the hold on i'm getting so many fucking this is the time of day where my friends must all be like having lunch or something because i get a thousand text messages this time uh instagram you know whatever um charlie hunnam boring Boring. uh let's see oh uh chicks in the office did like a slideshow of a bunch of guys yeah um jeremy strong i liked it i liked jeremy strong with the little earring Mm -hmm. wait coleman domingo Look him Coleman up. Coleman Domingo looked he great. He looked amazing. He, he looked also was kind of giving anime bad yes. guy vibe too. Yes. I really liked his look as well. Coleman Domingo Slade. Big time. Uh, Donald Glover, trash. And this is what I meant to bring up before and I forgot. The the big oversized suit look uh, is just, just like it's all anybody it's wants just to really do. Boring, Jamie Dornan really also, boring. also guilty. Wearing Jamie Uwebe, Dornan, though. okay, like, but I get the I get the idea he's, of he's it. He's on theme. Yeah, he's he looks on like theme. an aristocrat. Like yeah. that's kind of the vibe. Like if all else fails, look like an aristocrat. You yeah, know what I mean? yeah, yeah. Um, we've got Nicki Minaj. I mm. about her before. I d- I hated her outfit. Me hated too. It. Really didn't like it at all. Um, there was another guy I wanted to bring up that I don't know his name, but I t- but I tweeted him. He had all that red on. Oh, 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 Wisdom Kane. Wisdom Wisdom Kane. Kane. Oh, my God. Yes, he's a TikToker. So good. So good. He is just the shining light on men's fashion, it feels like right now. Because the way... Fabulous. Fabulous. He can take any sort Mm -hmm. of theme, movie, character, and turn that Maria, into our girl Maria M- Maria is amazing just what is look, that tennis so you're just looking at Maria again no I was looking at my own tweets oh yeah and well she's slaying but yeah off. Anyways, um sorry. wisdom just really 
he does he does the coolest TikToks where he you know like he takes the Doom characters and he makes it into sick outfits. He just oh yeah he does oh, everything. I so I like recognized him as a fashion person and I knew he was on TikTok, but I did not put together that that was yes, the same. Yes, that's person. him. He, he makes oh my god. Those, he has the most absurd like Rick Owens pieces the Doom stuff. Yeah. Yes, he he just knows how to make very unique, very cool. Um, futuristic uh, so style good. outfits that just push the envelope for men's fashion for sure and he really slays every single time and I'm very happy that he decided to do something out of the box and as his first appearance you know it's scary and he crushed it he Slayed. crushed it crushed it absolutely yeah. crushed it look fantastic not afraid to use color mm-hmm. again and especially with a theme like this yeah. you're basically being asked to use color it's yeah crazy and it's like it. there was like a burnt detail yes. to it very it was cool as if he kind of looked like a big rose but then like with burnt edges yeah like that yeah. was kind of the the vibe cool. i think you know life and death again mm-hmm. kind of thing um like beauty and pain almost exactly. yeah love we have jude law and andrew scott walking arm in arm with donatella, donatella versace three tickets to challengers please yes exactly <laughs> Literally. 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 I love I you know, I appreciate Literally. the Andrew Scott with the bare arms, the bare forearms. Me too, bare arms. He's got it looks like he, he has the right to bear arms. On. He's got the right this man has the yeah. right to bear arms. And he looks hot. He's got a little flock yeah, of seagulls hair He's going so on. Cute. Again, not not exciting or no. anything really. Jude Jonathan Law Bailey, did you see him? Jonathan Bailey. Jonathan Bailey looked cute. He cute. Well, he had the yeah. big flower, and then yep. he thought he was really doing something by revealing the small flower. He was like, "Oh, look at this! I got the small flower." I saw that. We're like, "Okay, Jonathan, no one gives a fuck about your small flower." Like, please. Jonathan Bailey, the face he had on. Yeah, he was when like, he revealed that tiny flower, and then he quickly covered yeah, it back like, oh. up. Like, oh. like I'm no one. No one can no see one this. Can see, yeah, no yeah. one can see my other my flower. Little flower. Yeah, this is look, look, look. Harris Reed. Wow. Insane. I know. Jesus. I know. Okay. Um, I'm just going through to make sure I didn't miss anybody that we were talking about. Oh, oh, my girl, um, Rebecca Ferguson with her, with her big reveal. I liked her reveal too. With the, yeah. with the crows. The reveal kind of, it was, is a little s- outdone to me now because now it feels like with, when, when the camp theme was going on, that had a lot of reveals. Had a lot of reveals. And I'm kind of like over one. the reveals. I still like a reveal. Mm. I'm fine with it. I get that. Um, Doja Cat had a lot of reveals. I don't like her. I think that she is going through some something. Like I think she doesn't go, like an identity crisis or something. I think so like, I too. Think that she wants to be one thing, and her fans have like put her in like a box of another, and she doesn't want to be in it anymore. So she's trying to like shed. I the get fans, that. You know, which like all right, good. You know, good luck on your journey, girl. Um, other guys that were good and bad. It really was just like. Oh, what do you think about uh, Chase Stokes and Kel- Kelsey Ballerini? Oh, they looked cute. They, they kind of looked, looked like they were confused with the theme almost. Yes, I she think was kind of giving surface? like eighties vibes. Yeah. But they are a very cute couple, and she's so beautiful. So he stunning. looked handsome. Their first one too, I think. Yeah, I think or so. Her first one. I don't think it's his first one. Yeah, maybe not. I don't know, but he looked handsome. He looked handsome. Cool suit. He, he tried. Yeah, we, yeah. We give credit to anybody that didn't just wear like a plain black suit. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean. Yeah. You get a little bit of credit for trying. Um, also, speaking of those two, little little X X X going on. Madeline Klein looked good but boring. Boring, um, very boring. Yawn. Long white, like beautiful dress, of course, and she looks very beautiful, different look like, for her. Because I feel like she her. doesn't usually go with her the, hair. Looks great. Yeah, her but hair looked like just wasn't doing it for me. Yeah, it really wasn't for me either. Um, Dua Lipa. With Marc Jacobs. I liked it. Um, I liked it too. Not for the Met Gala though. Yeah, not for the Met Gala. It just was a little... And it also just didn't seem on theme. And it also no. seems like she's done similar stuff to that yeah. almost. Yeah. It's but, all very, yeah. very typical duo. Yeah. Um, what do you think of her album, by the way? I really haven't given it a good mm. listen. I've listened to a couple songs and I... It like kind of flopped. Did it? Yeah. I gotta, I gotta listen. Like I only got like I don't 15 think million I don't even streams. think I've listened to one song. I it's think like, I put it there, on and then I kind of zoned there's out. There's three and I love songs. I, love. I think she kind of hurt herself by putting half the album out already. Got it. But there's three songs on there that I really like. These Walls, mm-hmm. uh, Happy For You, and What You Doing. But okay. People say Taylor Swift's songs all sound the same. I'm, I do a leap of same. I was seeing a little bit of that. I was seeing a little bit of like, oh, we just have future nostalgia but it's again. A good, but I don't mind that because I no, love yeah. future nostalgia. It's, it's so. very boppy, you know how okay, she cool, is. Okay, cool, cool, yeah. cool, cool, cool. I'll listen to it on the plane probably. Yeah. In my head, I'm on the plane. You know what I mean? Like, I'm on the plane to Paris, by the right. way. Right. Like, I can't. Mentally in Paris. I'm until mentally then, in Paris. Like, yeah, I'm mentally in Paris. Yeah. But I, I really am like, I'm very stressed out. Yes, yeah, so About that. I know. 
I'm, I haven't I just, started packing. No, me neither. Are you <laughs> bringing I, a carry-on or things. are you checking a bag? All my fucking friends are bringing carry-ons because they're smart. I don't, there's no way I'm going to be able to fit. I know, me like, too. There's no way. I know. I'm bringing like 10 pairs of shoes. I know. I'm like, are you bitches crazy? I'm wearing like boots. Yeah. Like, what do you mean? Okay. Unless I change my mind, but no, I'm probably going to check a bag. Also, we found out that we can get into our Airbnb, Airbnb early. Oh, which slay. Is great. So that's okay, lovely. Good. Um, but yeah, I don't know, dude. Like, it's just, I have some clothes like laid out. My house looks like a bomb went off. Like, it's a real nightmare. You know, we leave. I don't know what we're going to do. What are we going to do about, we might as well talk about it now. What are we going to do about our Thursday episode? I was do, thinking like, we just don't do an episode. I, think I was going to bring that up too I say, yesterday. I, I yeah. Think we have or to today. <laughs> yeah. I think we, we I don't think have there's yeah. no time. There, we're not going to no do it in the morning. Tomorrow, tomorrow. I need to pick up my dress too. My, oh my fucking. God, did you bring it up? So you did bring it up there. Let's, I did. Let's shift gears a little. Okay, we'll, should we do Paris then, talk a little bit? Let's do Paris talk a little bit. So, okay, anyway, that was that was mostly Met Gala. Met Gala, yeah. Um, there was some good after party looks as well. But nothing really blew me away overall. I'd say um, it was a good Met Gala. I wish it was better. Night? I had higher hopes. As yeah. did I. As yeah. did I. Um, but okay, let's let's get into Paris talk because it's like it'll help me help alleviate some of this anxiety. I think. Um, yeah. So I ordered a dr- yeah. my dress and it, I got it in a size large and it. Um, Seemed like it was a dress for uh, maybe like XXXXXXL. It's crazy. I was very confused with the sizing of yep. this uh, option. And I know that Selkie is like plus size friendly, but I, I, I just was very confused on their their say, sizing. Wouldn't it say like, like plus size? I don't know. But plus size large, but plus size large? Like, I don't know. Yeah. So I was going to take it to the place you recommended, the alteration mm-hmm. place, but it's mm-hmm. a little too close to where my ex lives. So I got scared. Ooh, right, right, right. Very fair. Yeah, I got very scared. So very I was fair. like, I'm going to go to a place in the West Village, which I really fucked up. My friend who, by the way, who recommended that place to you yeah. will will love that like oh, yeah. part like if i tell him i'll be like oh no because you'll see go. him you'll see yeah. him tomorrow he's on our same flight and he oh perfect will be like I'll tell him. um yeah no yeah tell him yeah you tell him because he will love that and he'll be like totally understand yeah. burn it to the ground like, i was really it, too scared go. like on a friday like i didn't know like he could have like worked from home so i was like you know no, what forget it i'm just gonna stick to what i know west so village <laughs> and but it was uh. stupid of me because the west village is they charged me out the wazoo. My oh, mom no. almost started crying. It was so expensive. Oh no, really? <laughs> she was so mad at me when I did told they her. Like, did they? Well, because they really they have to alter it. Like, right. I thought maybe they could just cinch it or something, but they really have to alter me it because too. the dress is really good quality. It has three different layers oh, of no. fabric, plus like the lacing at the bottom yeah. and the zipper. Or so. Yeah, it just as unfortunately is a, a very big turnaround. And then I was like, "Oh, could you also do it by Wednesday?" And they were like, "Oh, okay, yeah, <laughs> sure, like, but sure. yeah, like we're gonna charge you extra." And I'm like, "Okay, yeah, that's fine." They charge me a lot extra. Holy um, shit! So, but I need to pick that up tomorrow. Okay. The and morning? then just do like a bunch of you know the typical CVS run, whatever. Of course. Make sure you get. Um, the European outlets. Oh, I've got it. I've got okay, that. Yeah. Thank God. That's the, the one thing yes. I've got since since this past year. I've been traveling so much. Like when it comes to electronics and such, I lost, I'm fucking on. Ugh, I lost also, all of mine. So Brittany's I have to get got more. a converter for, and I have a travel hair dryer, so it, oh, it like goes with the good, um, with the you know the yeah. voltages and whatever. Yeah. And she's got the converter, and she's bringing like a curling iron or something. So Slay. we've got that on lock, and then. Um, and then as far as, yeah, I got to do the same thing. A little, uh, probably Yeah, a just CVS like the run. typical I gotta CVS go. I Target my, run. I ran out of my, uh, my face cream this morning. My Tatcha, like, moisturizer. Oh, so you need to do a like, Sephora run, maybe? I got to go to fucking Sephora later. Like, that's insane. I'm also trying to think to myself, like, I gotta get my don't nails done. buy too much because you will be buying a lot there. That's, that's well, that's another reason why <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I got to check this bag. I'm, you know, I'm going to go shopping. Bitches be shopping. Yeah, I know. Like, Bitches be shopping. Like, Paris. That's what I, I really. about consignment. I mm. really, really want to do a good luxury consignment, mm-hmm. vintage shopping, because I've seen a lot of TikToks and Paris is the place to do it. Yes. So I really want to maybe. Get, I think Saturday get a little day something fun. Yeah, agree. I think Saturday, agree. Saturday, Saturday Saturday shopping day or, or even or even Thursday like yeah. after lunch after yeah. a couple glasses of champagne yeah. like, you never know. I love a I love a shop after a glass of champagne. Oh, Ooh, me too. Me it's too. my favorite. Me too. So, um I'm still in deep deep crisis about my outfit. My outfit is say, not I I I am like I, I feel like we both a, a are struggling. It, yeah. We're both having a little bit of a fashion Complete emergency. Complete fashion emergency. There's a couple <sighs> of things maybe that'll pull it together at the end that should maybe be arriving today. You you have the pieces. You I just have all need the to fit them together. I know. And yeah. they're just not fitting together. Mm. But I, so I got that like um I got this um strapless 
top that was supposed to kind of look like torture poets like whatever and it's trash I hate it so much like I literally like want to throw it on the ground like it, it's just so bad I don't know why I even thought like I must have been high when I ordered it like I just <laughs> it is not good and so I had that I had the skirt that I don't want to wear anymore mm. and I got this fucking cape man it's like really again boxing the me cape. in like the, the, the I don't know cape. Dude. so it's really gonna be like I, I have, like I said, more pieces coming today. I think I'm going to Michael's. I think I might be crafting later tonight. Shit, okay. Like, that's, that's the point where we're at. Like, I'm crafting. And so, and that, I haven't crafted since college, so we'll see. Do you see think white boots will match that dress? Um, depends on how white. Oh, God, I hate the I hesitation in your voice. I don't know. What kind, but how white are they? Very white. Like, patent leather? I don't know. I have to get, I've ordered picture. them. Okay, I will. I think the, I think it would be fine. <laughs> okay, cuz I if it not might get, I have it might be it might get like bell. You know what I mean? Like yeah. white with yellow and blue. I'm trying to give like give you're giving bell? Like princess almost. Oh, so then yeah. Then but maybe. It. I also have like black platform heels that I can wear I have if a million not. Sh- oh, shoes yeah. also. What size shoe are you? Nine and a half. Okay, I'm eight and a half. But sometimes nine. So maybe you know what I mean? Like yeah, depends yeah, on the depends shoe. on the shoe. Yeah, no, I'm. I got Let's big see. feet. Yeah, yeah, very big feet. So. I, I I thought I had big feet. Turns out everybody on earth has an eight and a half shoe. Yeah, you're. <laughs> that's very normal. No, I'll never Everyone forget the first it. time I ever tried Where on Sperry's. Francesca mine. was like, "Oh my god, your feet are so big," and I started to cry. <laughs> In seventh grade, yeah. What a bitch. I know. Typical that's sister hilarious. shit. That's sister shit. Yeah. yeah. That's so funny. Yeah, I gotta get my nails done. I'm getting a spray tan tomorrow. I'm getting a spray tan tonight. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. I'm doing a. A girl, was, actually. Was Shout out East Coast Cosmetics. Oh. They reached out to me. And oh, that's And they're lovely. giving me a free spray tan. <laughs> she was like, hey, girl, you they, look like you need it. <laughs> it w- no, literally. But they all. she I also sent me the funniest DM with the most random group of people. She was like, so cute. She's like, um, I've had four years experience of tan influencers like Meredith Duxbury, Alex Ooh. Bennett, Sheena Shea, and Bran Flakes. I'm like, what a random oh, what a, group of what people. A crew. Yeah. Sheena Shea, Alex well, Bennett. Go. Yeah. That's hilarious. Well, Alex that's Bennett, she fun. does always have a spray tan. Yeah, she always Sheena Shea glowing. always has a spray yeah. tan. Yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah. I'm excited. Well, that'll be fabulous. Good. There's nothing I'm more awkward than bronze. meeting someone for the first time and being like, hey, here's my naked body. It's, can you tan it? It's a weird thing. Yeah. Well, that's why I go to Sugar and Bronze and I still go to the one in Chelsea because I used to live like on the same yeah. block as it. And um, I only ever get Are spray tans. Are they machines tans. or people No, but they it. spray you. Yeah, it's yeah. a girl. They bring you in the thing. Um, and... Uh, I used to live like literally on the same block and I only get spray tans when I'm going on like a vacation in the yeah, wintertime. Yeah, like, me it's, too. Like, or some, uh, an event where I'm going to be wearing cute outfits yeah. and I don't want to look pale, which I look so bad right now. And the white on white, I'm sure is not helping. <laughs> but so um, going and f- I think because now I've gone f- like f- so many times, I know all the girls that work there, like not know them, but like I'm familiar with them. Oh no, what happened? No, nothing. Oh, okay. Oh, I, th- I thought, I thought oh, it, sorry. Like, you had an emergency oh, face no. oh, and God, I was sorry. like, oh no. Um, I think I like know the girls or at least to the point where they've definitely all already like given me a spray tan before. Like I've gotten more than f- like five spray tans in the past four years. You know what I mean? So yeah. I, I, I like am familiar with them. So at least I recognize their faces before I like pull out my whole my whole cooch, you know? <laughs> so, I get that. So it's a little easier. I get that. So, but, but good luck to you on a stranger. <laughs> That'll be fine. And we're going to look great. We're going to slay. Yes, we're going to slay. We're going to look fantastic. I'm really excited. Oh, we didn't get to talk about it really. Um before before we uh, our little itinerary so cute so um the arena finally we got our tickets thank god we got an itinerary for when we get there what we're doing like where we go to entrance Mm. the the entrance whatever like i'm just really excited about all this but we have a little program and um our our box opens at 5 30 yay and that's what she said yeah, I was just going to say, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> mine's actually at six. But, um. <laughs> Wait, you know what I also want to do? Meet a French lover. Oh, well, of course. Yeah, okay, oh, well, good. Of course. Okay. What are we going? You know, you okay. can hang out with Courtney for that. My, my girl, Court. She She's always, she loves a, okay, she loves a French man. Okay, she slay. knows how to spot him. Okay, perfect. So, um, so open at 530. There's a cocktail reception for us. Uh, it's gonna be by so fabulous. La Maison Le Notre, which Ooh. I don't know. And then we have a Swifties pre-show activations in the private boxes corridor. What's wow. that gonna be? Probably like March. Is yeah, yeah. What we're kind of thinking. So who knows? And then we have the six forty-five opening act of Paramore, and then eight o'clock will be wow. the show. And I'm just so excited. I'm so excited. I'm and so came, excited. And this cute little, there's little so cute. On it's it. just, it's really gonna be so amazing. I'm it's really excited. The stadium is indoors, which I'm actually very excited about. And I'm excited that we're in a box because I feel like we're going to be able to see like the visuals and I the totally lights agree. on the stage so much better, yes. which we didn't really get to see. Um, so I'm really excited about that part. I I'm excited too. to see about the tortured poets, what she's going to mm-hmm. add. Mm-hmm. The fact it's just it's just 
Oh God! It's gonna be crazy. Shit. Everything's gonna be so exciting, it's and gonna be crazy the shit. fact that we get to do it together is I know. so fun. I know. It's gonna I be know, so Jane. amazing. Oh my God! I'm just yeah. Ugh. Ugh. It's just gonna be yeah. so exciting. I'm so excited, and um, yeah. So we're gonna do. We'll do a, a recap pod while we're there. Yeah. That will come out. Um, Probably m- I would say Monday. next week. That'll yeah, be like yeah. our, either yeah, Monday yeah. or Tuesday Tuesday, episode. yeah. And then, um, and we're going to do a little vloggy as yes, well. Yes, for sure. And we're also going to be posting all over TikTok, yeah. all over everything. We've got we've got sounds planned for yep. transitions for Content out the such. wazoo. Very excited about that. Yeah. We have to be good about it. You know that I'm, I get bad about I know, it. Because so I get I. so self-conscious in so the way of like, I don't to be a loser. embrace each other's. Embrace it. Yeah. All my friends are, no, they know the deal. No one's, yeah. gonna, everyone like loves it. I feel like your it. friends like support cool. you. Yeah. They do. They do. Everybody supports. They're all cool. My friends will do that too. They'll like take videos of me and I'm like, No one's going to call us a loser. They'll all be hype. We also, we have, um, we'll be ha- having the uh, Dave's Eras Tour jacket. Yes. We'll be making a, a cameo. Yes. And then we also, um, someone, we, we have chosen someone. I yes. know I said that last time, but I'm still getting DMs. And I'm really sorry that it wasn't you, but we did choose somebody for night three. So we'll be giving it, passing it along for Shout night out. three. Shout out. And um, I think her name is Megan. And so, um, so shout out Megan. Shout out Megan. I think. And so, um, I think that's what it is. Hopefully, listen. I talked to a lot of. I talked to a lot of people. <laughs> it's just a lot. We'll learn her name. We'll learn her name. I yeah. think it's Megan. So, um, that's going on. And then I think that's it. So just keep it. stay tuned for our stay outfit tuned. debacles if we both make it out the other side. Please. But I think we will. I have I a backup dress I'm from Newly oh, in that's case. Good. That's but good. But I'll be really disappointed if I. Have to I have wear a couple it. like backup pieces. Again, like you know, I, the cape. The cape is the star. But if the cape is ruining my life, like it might have to go in the garbage. Like it's just you know the cape I mean? really seems to be pigeonholing it. It really is. And I just yeah. can't find the right thing to match it. But we'll see. We'll, we'll figure see it how out. it all goes and everything will well, be great. Well, very excited. Very excited. I, we're definitely gonna bring our uh, bull and branch pillowcases with Absolutely us Absolutely must. so that we don't break out before the show must. so Again. that our hair is looking fresh and shiny mm-hmm. um mm-hmm. you know we're ready for the surprises from taylor we loved the surprises on fashion's biggest night yes. seeing maria sharapova in bowen bridge oof what a look what, what a, a collab what, what a collab. collab what a time what a night yeah. what a day what what excitement to come it's amazing so you can just feel the quality immediately when you have your bowl and branch sheets they're buttery and breathable and they s- literally get softer with every single wash and i'm not kidding the more, the more times i wash them the more I feel like my bed is a cloud. Absolutely. You um, know what I'm going to do, G? When I get home, I'm going to wash this because yeah. I want to be able to. These make are it a already bit so soft. They're already I can't soft. even imagine how I much softer wash they're going to be. And I might bring them on the plane. These, this, might be, this might be my plane outfit. That's really smart. Mm-hmm. Really, really mm-hmm. smart. I know. Wow. Okay, I might copy you. We might show up in our matching Shoot. outfits. Do you care? Bless you. Thank you. Oh, just a graceful sneeze. That was really, um, really <laughs> princess-like. It was just me being Chew. cute. It was me being adorable. No, I would. Not, of course I would not care. I'd love to match. Yeah. Are you kidding? So we're going to be yeah. sleeping like babies on the mm-hmm. plane with mm-hmm. our eye masks and our breathable, lovely pajamas. We're going to sleep like babies in our in our Parisian beds because Hell you know yeah. those Parisian beds, they're harder than rocks. Yes. So bringing our pillowcases yes. will be helpful. Mm-hmm. And the bedding just looks luxurious. It looks expensive. It looks nice. It, it has has such a beautiful satin yeah it's just mm-hmm. amazing um and it just ditch your old sheets get them out of there stop stop buying stop that bullshit sweating. off Amazon. don't yeah, do yeah. it don't do it splurge on the sheets it's time it's We're worth elevating it. our bedding and bowling branches exactly here and, and with 20 percent off your first set of sheets plus free shipping you can go to bowlandbranch.com with the promo keys and you will get 20% off and free shipping. That is a great, great deal. That's Bowl and Branch, B-O-L-L-A-N-D branch.com. Promo code Keegs, K-E-E-G-S. Exclusion apply. Seat site for details. Shout out Bowl and Branch. We love you guys. Love you so much. And massive thank you for uh, sponsoring this episode. Yes, yeah, seriously. So much fun working with them to get this get this going yeah. and just uh, exciting stuff. So exciting. Exciting stuff happening on Taylor Watch. So, yeah, yeah. Um, so we appreciate you guys up. so much. Yeah. We wouldn't be here without you guys. So Completely. we love y'all. That is it. It's the it's the Taylor Watch fans. Yeah. Our, our friends, our besties, our Swifties. You're the ones that uh, that are making it all possible we for us. We love you. We love you to death. Wait, but um, all right. So the next time you see us, we will be in Paris. 
and make sure to follow um, follow Taylor Watch on Instagram, TikTok, yep. on you know YouTube, Rumble, anywhere you watch yep. the pod itself, Spotify, yep. Apple, all the above. Make sure also to follow our our personal accounts because we're usually yeah. just posting a shit ton the yeah. whole time. So if you're looking for Taylor Swift Paris content, look for us on <laughs> TikTok and Instagram, yep. and Twitter too if you're in the mood. Yep. But I'll probably mostly be on on the others because it's we need, it's visual. It's yeah, a visual, visual for sure. Visual weekend yeah. for us. So be sure to follow along and. Uh, Au revoir. <laughs> <laughs> Au revoir. <laughs>